Welcome. I am your host today, Cloudy in the 16th. Welcome to this video. Uh, so today is basically just a quick uh, video about Among Us. So if you guys are popping in, uh, I had a lot of ideas on trying to do a actual tournament format for Among Us. So I figured I'd just do this video so that way you guys will know um, what I'm attempting to do and the format that I came up with. Um, I'm basically calling it cloud format for the moment. Um, so this is how it will work for the tournament format for Among Us. Uh, the way I have it set up currently, or the idea I have uh, for it currently, is to do <clears throat> uh, like a round robin format where you take, uh, or like a block format. So you take five players, you put them in a block. So let's say we have 20 players. So we'll have four blocks of players. That's all randomly selected. They go into each block. Oh, excuse me. So they'll know each block that they're in. Uh, so for instance, block A versus block C, or excuse me, yeah, block A versus block C, block B versus block D. Those two blocks will go into one singular game. So that's your 10 man Among Us game. Uh, so that's how the uh, basically then they'll play out. Uh, we'll have those two games. Currently, I'm going. I'm thinking we have to do it one at a time until I get enough admins, and I'll explain what that is a little bit later. Uh, but they'll play at the same time, and how the game will be will play as normal. The winners will then will get calculated points. Oh, uh, so and basically how the game when the game ends, they'll stay at the uh, the feet or victory screen. No one will press like play game or um, exit. They'll stay there until everything is calculated. The admins will calculate the points uh, and they'll determine if the game needs to continue or if the game is going to end. So everyone will basically just you know sit there at that point. Um, so yeah, round one format, which means all blocks will play at least once with each other. Uh, meaning you know we'll take block A versus block C. They'll play that game. Then you know block A will remain. Then we'll take you know, block B, they'll come over, and then we'll have that game, you know, uh, and then block B and block C will play each other, and or excuse me, block D and block C will play each other in this game, so that way everyone gets to play. Um, once all of those games are been done, and we'll calculate a final game, which will take the top 10 scores, or top 10 points, they'll go into a final game. Um, and that will basically determine your uh, finals. So, uh, excuse me if I'm looking over. I, I wrote down a couple of notes. Uh, I'll have further details in my Discord on how I would like to, you know, run this format. Um, let's see. Yeah, final game. So yeah, the top ten uh, points will basically go into the final game, um, and that's how we'll determine, you know, who's going to go where. All right, so yeah, so we'll so that'll be the first part of that. Then uh, how points will be determined. So a crew member, if they win, it'll be one point. Um, that means you're you know you won. That's dead or alive. Uh, you get one point. If you're alive and you win, then you will get an additional point. So basically, a crewmate could get two points by winning. You know, one if you're dead, an additional point if you're still alive and you win. Oh, uh, imposters, they'll get, and that, that applies to all the crew. So, you know, uh, you know, 10 person game. So eight people in a two imposter game will get, you know, all of them will get one point. Then you'll look and see who's still alive. They will get the extra additional point. That's how that works. Um, so for the imposter side, uh, you'll get uh, two points for an imposter win. So that's dead or alive. Um, and one additional point for being the living imposter. Uh, so they can actually accumulate three points uh, total. It's a little harder for imposters, extra points. Uh, so then we'll have a, a point that will be determined by basically uh, admin and uh, I guess you could say head judge or whoever, uh, tournament organizer, whoever. 
um, they will determine pog moments, you know, or play of the game moments. Uh, that will earn an additional point for a player. Uh, I haven't. That's going to be a very probably weird and kind of big list. So that will probably just be put in my Discord. Um, I can only give you an example of like a pog, you know, play of the game type of moment is, uh, for instance, um, an imposter, for instance, can get the pog moment by his partner gets thrown out or, you know, he or she's partner gets thrown out first. And the imposter basically has to kill all not or all eight uh, people or, you know, get them killed in some way. And he accomplishes that. That's a, you know, play of the game moment. Um, uh, so that would be like an example of a play of the game type of moment. Um, so that will be determined and add a point as well. And then I'm thinking of adding like a MVP kind of moment for maybe we do like uh, a poll in Discord uh, or like in uh, whoever the admins chats uh, are and they could determine who like uh, the MVP of any one round is and maybe that would earn like an additional point. Uh, so right now that's how that's how you earn points is how I'm seeing it. Um, if there's anything that I'm gonna change or add additionally, we'll put that in the Discord uh, under basically I'm gonna make like a, a separate kind of like rules channel and cup two more separate uh, Discord voice channels specifically for tournaments. Um, so I'm gonna lay that out there. Um, also, so admins, I kept mentioning admins. So I think the admins that we're gonna do, they're basically gonna be your judges, the people that watch uh, the gameplay and the people that uh, determine you know, the points and things like that. Uh, they will not play in the game. They will not be a part of the tournaments. They'll be the ones basically watching and you know, uh, determining the scores and things like that. Uh, if we need an extra, so let's say there's an odd number for whatever reason going into a final game um, and we need let's say one extra person to even it out so that way it's not you know uh, not weird or uh, you know let's say for whatever reason we end up with only like four players in the final game and we actually need like two more players to actually you know run the game then those would be admin um, so they, that's when they can step in and play the game the admin um, we'll basically just fill a role. Uh, their points would not be added, um, so they won't be earning points. They're specifically there to, you know, uh, make sure that the game is still going to play out. So their job, as basically um, in the game, is to basically they they can watch cams. Uh, they can do tasks, uh, and they can sabotage only. So, and they'll be muted basically through Discord. So during conversations and things like that, they will be muted. Um, so that way you won't be able to, uh, they won't be able to change the game or sway the game in any way. Uh, so they'll just be muted. They're there to do whatever actions need to be done. So if they need to do tasks, they'll do the tasks and they can sabotage, but they're not gonna be able to kill anyone. Um, so, you know, that way they can't, change the flow of the game into any one person's uh, favor. Uh, if there's more details we need to work out, I'll be doing that over the coming weeks. But this is what I feel like uh, can work. We're gonna actually test that out too. Um, so just a little extra like rule of thumb, uh, just for general um, among us, and this is how I'd love the tournament to actually play out as well, or the players that are gonna be in the tournaments to play out as well. Um, so we're no, no screen sniping, obviously. Um, you know, no going to someone else's stream and watching them, uh, you know, play the game and then giving information to other players. Uh, so none of that, no chat, no chat snipers, no screen snipers, none of that. None of that stuff's going to be allowed if we find out about any of it. Um, you know, you're basically you're just not going to be able to play in any of the events that we do. I can't speak for other streamers and other people out there. But I would like this to be as professional and friendly as possible. Um, so that way, even if other streamers and other people out there want to use this format, all I ask is shout me out. You know, be like, hey, we're using cloud format. You know what I mean? Um, and, you know, where you heard from. You know what I mean? I'm not, you know, like tripping on, you know, uh, you know, people using it or not using it or anything like that. 
um, just, you know, I took, I spent my time to do this, <laughs> you know, shout your boy out if you like, if you like it. Um, I'll probably be, like I said, modifying it a little bit here, uh, and, uh, putting it in my discord. So, um, yeah, no talking during the game, obviously, uh, mute your discord, you know, whatever, abide to whatever the rules of the tournament is, um, you know, don't. Uh, try to like yell over people. We don't want any kind of like yelling. Like, like I get it when you're heated. You know what I mean. And you know, ah, but we don't want you constantly trying to yell over people. To, like, use that device to try to win. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Um, basically, if someone hits the mic, like they they report the button or if they uh, you know call an emergency meeting, they have the floor first. I mean, that's just how it is. They call the meeting. You know what I mean? So don't just try to yell over people. We don't, you know, we're not we're not going for that. You know, there's no reason to be that uh, aggressive all the time. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, we get it in certain instances, certain moments. But like, I've ran into players that I just don't want to play with anymore because that's all they do. They as soon as they get on, ah, ah, thinking that if they're the loudest person, they're gonna always be hurt. No. You know what I mean? To me, you get voted out first, because <laughs> that's annoying. Let people talk. You know what I mean? Let let the information be put out there so people can investigate, so people can play the game. Um, so that won't be tolerated in any of my tournaments. No bad mouthing, no racism, no bullying, uh, no inappropriate behavior of any kind. I mean, come on, be nice, people. We're you know, it's already a deceptive game. It's already going to be lying and backstabbing and all this stuff kind of going on. So at least keep that to the game, and let's not be uh, trying to perpetrate your uh, aggressive nature or whatever you have going. You know, like it's a game. We're doing this for fun. You know, even if there is something on the line, it's still a game. We're still doing it for fun, and it doesn't need. I understand there's competitive people out there. I'm competitive myself. We don't need that in this atmosphere. That's all I'm saying. So that won't be tolerated, and we'll be, you know, nixing that in the butt really quick. Uh, no hacking, no hackers, you know. So for whatever reason, oh, there's more points getting an imposter. So maybe I can hack to, you know, uh, be an imposter more. Mm. You know, I'm actually thinking about running a few of these, like I was saying, before we actually do it, running some mock tournaments, seeing how it plays out. And if it gets to a point where it's like someone's getting an imposter way too much, I might even have to do something about that. I might have to be like, okay, if you've been imposter, you know, three times, two, three times in a row, we're going to have to come out of the game, throw you into a new game. That way it can shuffle it up some more. So that way other people have the opportunity to be the imposter or more points. Um, so we're something else that we're working on a little bit. So we are going to be doing that um, next Wednesday. I usually do like Among Us or kind of like an open game on Wednesdays. Next Wednesday, this Wednesday I'm doing Among Us, but I'm doing like a slasher uh, version. Um, but next Wednesday, we're going to do a mock tournament. So if anyone's interested, jump into the Discord, shoot me a whisper, um, check me out on any of my medias, um, Instagram, Twitter, uh, you know, hit me up anywhere there and say you're interested. I'm going to probably have a list of people uh, that want to be in the tournament on the discord probably gonna just make a channel and just have people's names just in there So that people know who you know, these are the players So for now that's pretty much the information that I have uh, If you like this idea, I greatly appreciate some feedback and some information uh, Go ahead and hit that follow button. I appreciate that as well um, and again, Discord's there. If you're on the channel, you can just click on my face, I believe, and then it should show. If you come to my page, the first thing is the Discord. Uh, so you can just click on that. It should take you right to the Discord as well. Um, if you have any other questions, please ask me there. Uh, I'll be mostly focused on the information that's going to be in the Discord. But if you are here on Twitch, go ahead and shoot me a whisper or something like that, and I'll get you some information. Uh, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. And have a good one. And I'll be back in uh, about 15 minutes to do the Breath of the Wild Master Sword Trials. So thank you guys. Have a great night. See you guys in a bit.